Hi, this is Todd of ToddLoHenry.com, and I want to talk with you again about the elevation workflow, and in particular, the consumption phase, and the tools, or some of the tools and the tactics that I use uh, in conjunction with a feed reader. Because I think that if you want to rise to the top of search, you have to find and share great information. You need to make information flow to you not go out and look for it uh, all the time. And here, the most critical tool is to use a feed reader. Now, when I recommend uh, a tool, there are um, several different things that I consider. First of all, the tool needs to be best of class. It has to be cloud-based. It needs to be completely cross-platform, including Mac, Windows, and Linux, and Android and iOS. And finally, the application needs to be freemium. So when I recommend an application, these are all the things that I consider. And in this feed reader space, there are several great ones. Um, tools like Feedly, Feedspot, Dig. And lately, my favorite tool is a tool called InnoReader. And it was brought to my attention by one of my friends and clients, Brian Clark in Brisbane, Australia. And I was telling him how, you know, my world was perfect with Feedly until he showed me InnoReader. And it really got me uh, thinking about what it is that I'm using a feed reader for and whether or not Feedly or InnoReader would be the best tool to support me. So... Now, in the workflow, here's another way of looking at it. It starts out with contemplating your branding and your strategy. And into your feed reader, you put the sites, the searches, the sources, and the someday maybe information that you need to consume on a regular basis in order to continue your, to nourish your expertise and to find content for your content marketing. Now, in your feed reader, and this is the Feedly icon here, you have three different options. When you come across an article, you can either go on to the next article, you can share it to social media using a tool like Buffer, or if it's really good content, you might want to put it into a curate the content, put it into a post, and use it in your WordPress marketing. So this is just another way of looking at the workflow. Now, when it comes to feed readers, I have come to the conclusion that InnoReader is better for me and for the people that I work with. And here are a couple of reasons why. First of all, it restores some of my favorite Google Reader features that are missing uh, from tools like Feedly. Bundles, channels, and statistics. So if I flip over and I take a look at the dashboard. This is InnoReader. Not quite as pretty in some ways as Feedly, but um, much more powerful on some really important levels. So this is my dashboard. Here's a stream of new articles that are coming in. These are recommended sources for me based on the kind of content that I like to consume. And here are a list of inactive feeds, feeds that I've subscribed to that are no longer working or no longer producing content. Okay, So I can go in there and say, okay, well, uh, I get rid of that one, uh, get rid of that one, and so forth. And in this way, I can always be pruning my lineup uh, of feeds. Real similar to any feed reader over on the left-hand side, you see the folders to which you've subscribed. If you subscribe to a new feed, then you can just go and uh, drop it into uh, a particular folder. And then from that point forward, that content will go into the folder and you can uh, consume it there. One of the things that I really like about this particular feed reader is a feature called uh, More Like This. So if I right click and I say More Like This, then this is going to show me 
all of the different feeds that it thinks are similar to the one that I am uh, looking at. So I'm already subscribing to Brain Pickings, and I can make sure that I put it into uh, the correct folder. And from that point forward, it's going to continue to deliver content to me. So going back to the list, another thing that I really like about Inno Reader is a community forum that's filled with really smart, passionate people. And all I have to do is go to Settings and Forum, and I can interact with uh, any of these other users. This is a feature that's missing in Feedly. Um, so I've, you know, really benefited from, you know, the experience of, you know, of other users. Um, next one, and these two are really critical because if you remember, I said that you want to put into your feed reader the sites, searches, sources, and someday maybe information. So one of the things that I like about InnoReader is that in the past, and this is a really important feature, in the past, I have, um, when I say that I like to track sites and searches and sources, that means uh, websites, particular search phrases, uh, and then the sources are the really smart people uh, in my industry. So, for example, if I want to uh, look up one of the brightest people in the Google Plus universe, I look up a guy like Mark Traphagen, and I can find feeds about Mark, bundles about Mark, users like Mark that are using InnoReader, but this is really important. I can look at Twitter for Mark Traphagen. And here is his Twitter account. I can subscribe in InnoReader. And then I can add his tweets to a Thought Leaders folder. Likewise, if I go up and uh, type his name again, I can search for Google Plus and look at the content. So here he is in Google Plus. I can subscribe to him again in InnoReader. And again, I can add him to a folder, but here I'm going to put him in my daily business reading folder and in my thought leaders folder. So this one feature is so important. I know that I can do this in Feedly or other tools by using Google scripts like Feed Plus or so forth, but the important thing is that this is built into InnoReader and they are taking care of subscribing to the RSS feed so that I don't have to. Okay, And that's a very important feature. So then when I go back and take a look at my you know, list of why I'm making the move to InnoReader, one thing that I will miss about Feedly, and this is what Feedly looks like, is this view called the Home View. And what this does is it takes the last X number of articles from each category to which I'm subscribed, and it shows just 10 at a time. Now, when it comes to navigating information, both Feedly and InnoReader have a set of keyboard shortcuts that allow me to quickly navigate through content. And so this is where you know feed reading gets really productive. Um, one thing I want to mention uh, before I move on is that, let's say, for example, I come across a website 
that I want to continue. So I, I come up with some great content and I say, wow, you know, this is really good stuff. I would like to have this kind of content delivered to me on a daily basis. Um, with InnoReader, they provide either a bookmarklet where I can select the folder and I can subscribe and they also provide an extension which will do pretty much the same thing. Okay, So this is another way to get content uh, into InnoReader. You can search for it up here in the upper left hand corner or if you come across a good website you can use the bookmarklet or the extension. Now once you have this content uh, in your feed reader, that's when you become extremely productive. Okay, I can press the J key and this will take me through all of the articles in my daily business reading. Okay, so this is how uh, I read my news. Okay. Now, one of the things that I want to point out about InnoReader is that this tells me, first of all, when this was posted. It allows me to click on an icon and go directly to that particular uh, article. And if I scroll down to the bottom, I see that I have all kinds of different options. I can star. I can mark this as unread, I can like it, I can broadcast it, I can comment on it, I can send it via email, I can send it to Evernote or to OneNote, and I also have the ability to share to about, um, oh, I don't know, looks like 30 different uh, social networks, and I can add a custom site if I would like, but if I go and... Uh, you know, pick. So, for example, the three most important tools that I use are Buffer, Twitter, and Tumblr. So, I go ahead and save those, and now those three icons are there. And then also, if I mouse over the image, sharing to Pinterest uh, is always an option. So, again, one of the most important things about having a feed reader is that it makes the information that you need to read in order to stay on top of your craft, it makes that information flow to you instead of you having to go to look for good information when you need a, a quote or a post or whatever, for a post or whatever. Okay, um, I can use the keyboard keys to go through here. I can also uh, scroll down or use the space bar. Okay, but I can read my uh, articles like this if I would like to. And notice as I go along, the uh, image is taken from, or the text goes from being bold to being grayed out, which means that it's being marked as red. And I will never see that again. Okay, so now what I'm going to do in conclusion, remember I said that when we take a look at the recommended applications, they have to be cloud-based and they have to be uh, mobile so that you can read your content and share it from anywhere. If you wait just a second, I'll show you how this works on a mobile phone. Now what I wanted to show you here quickly before I take off is this that over here on the left I have my desktop version. Over here on the right is my iPad and I can very quickly move through articles or select one to be read. I could choose to share this in social media via buffer 
in exactly the same way uh, that I would if I were on the desktop. So this is one of the reasons why, to me, it's so critical that a tool like this be um, cloud-based and completely cross-platform so that I can consume all of the same information, whether I'm mobile or at my desktop, from any device that I have handy. So just another reason to love InnoReader, and hopefully at this point in time, you'll take a look at the free version. Just want to add that um, it is a freemium application. I do like to use tools that I pay for, because if I'm going to rely on a developer, I really want them to be around next week. So if you have any questions or feedback, I'd love to hear it. This is just my take on why a feed reader is so critical and why, for me, InnoReader at the moment is the best one that I've found.